Hello everybody, Northern Hero here again. How are we doing? Um, it is September and I pray that everybody will have a fantastic September in Jesus' name and ask God to protect you as well in September, in this month. Because I'm going to say something. Um, I've, I mentioned it on a few videos ago. I had a thought, to begin with, it said, beware of September, beware of September. Now, at first, I thought that was something very personal. And I had this thought for a week, and it was quite a bit after when I, you know, after about a week, then I decided to pray about it. And um, I got it really strong in a vision. This is not personal tell people this is not personal but tell people so I did my job I did a video on YouTube beware of September I don't know exactly what it is or anything like that anyway last night I was with a friend called Nigel and um, no Christian and we were walking down the road and he was telling me about his medication and stuff and all of a sudden I get this strong thought again beware of September tell Nigel about this so I told him but I said I don't know what it is you know but if it's something strong on me and only only in Jesus name by the way if this is something negative if it, I, I believe this is from God Right, hundred percent. Because I prayed about it and that, and it, it, see, sometimes God gives you little things, um, like a vision or a, a, a prophecy. Let me just say that um, quite a few years ago, I had a CD that I needed to get rid of. This thought started straight away. You've got a CD, and you need to get rid of it. It was a thought to begin with and nothing else you know just just that it took quite a bit actually maybe a week or two and then I prayed and then God showed me powerful the KLF get rid of it the White Room album and then I looked looked the band up didn't actually realize that they were into some sort of an Illuminati cult um, very weird and the music was associated with what they were into and I had to get rid of that album out of all my other albums God didn't pinpoint it straight away He want, God wanted me to pray about it to see where I'm coming from sometimes God gives us little bits and then we're like whoa what's this and then we have to ask God for more information so last night I told Nigel, this is, but I still weren't getting anything else, just be aware of September. That's it. Told him. And then last night um, I told my dad, my dad didn't get any sort of witness or anything that's, you know, what I was saying was true, which I doubt then because loads of times my dad has, uh, when, when he knows it's from God, says yep that's from God I've just had a right strong witness Holy Spirit's just told me but on this occasion he didn't now not necessarily that somebody else will get the same anointing or witness or whatever it is to verify it that what you are saying is true I believe that with all of my heart and through the Holy Spirit only through Jesus Christ um, that what this is is true is from the living God and if not then um, I will have to do a lot of repenting and go to the ministry team uh, in church and ask him but I believe this is really from God the Holy Spirit I've had stuff so strong before and uh, as strong as this and it's happened so, I'm not exactly sure, but um, 
let's just say a few things here. Last night, I told my dad about it. Um, well, obviously, he had nothing. And then I said, let's pray about it. So I prayed really strong. And um, I, I was on fire last night. I felt the Holy Spirit, the anointing, it was really powerful and strong. And what I got, I'm feeling this right now. Oof. An unlikely event that will devastate. And I saw loads of people killed. And this, I don't know, but if, if it's something so so strong on my mind and that's why I'm just saying it's a strong thought for now maybe it is a prophetic word but I've got to be careful as well I haven't told too many people about this but I've told probably about three or four so strong urge to tell people beware so I'm not exactly sure what it is but an unlikely event that will devastate and um, if we keep our eyes and ears to God, to Jesus, that he's going to take us down that straight path where there's glory at the end, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we are on that learning path all together. And I was in church on Sunday and... Um, I really felt as though that I wanted to leave, you know, I really felt as though that was the enemy, but then again, I was tired, extremely tired, but I kept, couldn't get into it, really, and I was a bit put about with the message, but um, it was a hard-hitting message, well, no, I'm not going to go into it, but um, I really wanted to leave, and I believe that was the enemy, and after I sat down at the front, I just felt peace come over me. And God's power is real, my friends. God wants us to take us to that next level. And um, also, a few weeks ago, I had a vision, a really strong vision, of me praying for my mum, speaking in tongues, and going round her, walking round her, and speaking in tongues ten times. Walking round her ten times. When I told my dad about that, he says, ooh, you've got to do that. It's from God. Um, I, I thought she was going to get healed through her throat because she's got an, um, a hiatus hernia. And she's still choking. Uh, she, she still gets food stuck. So we pray about my mum. pray about my dad because my dad's not feeling very well. I think a lot of it is, is due to his medication and that. She's going to be seeing a doctor next week. So I hope and pray, Lord, that he'll sort his medication out and um, make him better in Jesus' name. Um, because there's doctors, I mean, I've prayed for my dad loads of times. He does feel better when I've prayed for him. But then, next day or whatever, or so, sometimes he does feel good next day. On this occasion today, he feels really down. So just pray that my dad will feel a lot better. Um, yeah. I had a, a, like I was saying a bit ago, that I had a vision of um, my mum um, praying for her. I thought that was strange. When I told my dad, he says, that's when God, that you've got to do it immediately. So, it could have been something else, could have been something spiritual. But bef before I prayed for my mum, I told my mum to put her hand on the, th on, her, on the chest and her other hand out like that. And... Um, before I began to pray in tongues, I asked God, your, your tongues only, Lord Jesus, for Holy Spirit, um, through, Lord Je through the Lord Jesus Christ, um, and let these words be um, holy. Um, I can't exactly remember my prayer, but that is very, very important when we focus on God, focus on Jesus, and when we speak in tongues. i tell you what, I lost count when I was turning around and then I felt my mum's hand and I could feel the holy fire on my mum's hand 
as I, pr I prayed, I put my hand upon my mum's hand. It was holy fire, ladies and gentlemen. Something happened that very day. I don't know exactly know what it was. It could be fear, it could be something else, because my mum is very, quite fearful. So um, I pray that that will be broken in Jesus' mighty name. But this video is, um, is meant to be to be uploaded because it is my job to tell people of an event, an unlikely event. Look, oh, if I'm getting this so strong, then I have to tell people. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I believe it is from God. So I want people to pray about it. Um, ask people as well. Um, I will be telling more Christians as well as as in the next few days. Uh, well, today. Um, God bless everybody. And I, Northern Nero, will see you all another time. See ya. Bye.